Freedom Diggers, metal detecting coming to you once again. So this video is uh, going to be a little off the cuff. Um, I saw something on one of the groups on Facebook. Uh, it was people were talking about the Manticore and there's a YouTuber who's uh, yeah, he's got a lot of followers you know he's, he's put out some good content and uh, he's he's been using the Manticore for a little bit now and half the time he's hating on the thing and the other half of the time he's saying how amazed he is by it well today I saw in this group he put out this video saying that Mind Lab is lying about how much power it puts out, the Manticore. They're lying about their claim that it's 50% more powerful than conventional machines. And he really digs into this. Um, you're probably going to go looking for his video after this, and that's going to get him a lot of views. And that's fine with me. I got, I'm not in any kind of contest. I'm not even monetized yet, okay? And I don't care if I ever get monetized. And that's probably why you can trust what I'm telling you more than a lot of other people. I'm just going to put that right out right now. No manufacturers sponsor me. I'm not getting anything for doing this except the satisfaction of being a straight shooter and maybe helping out some people that are new to the hobby or people that are looking for, you know, a different opinion. So here I am sitting here. But anyways, um, he really digs into this and he starts talking about how the FCC has a limit on how much power a metal detector can put out and so on and so forth. Now, if you look at it, though, it says that it's got to be less than, like, 30 dBs or whatever that is. You know, I'm not a technical guy. But it doesn't give a specific number. It just says less than this amount. Well, if it's less than this amount, that doesn't tell you the exact amount. And... You really don't even know if that's what they're talking about with it being more powerful. I'll tell you what I've noticed with the machine, and a lot of other people have, is that the Manticore has an amazing ability to hit targets like coins that are on edge at great depths. What I've noticed is that it has an amazing ability to handle electromagnetic interference. There's a part of my yard, like I talked about in my last video, I couldn't get near. And I have no problems. In fact, I dug a few targets out of this part of my yard. There's an underground uh, cable TV wire going through there. So, the thing is, is the mana core, from what I have seen myself, and from what I have observed from people reporting about it, is that it allows you to run the sensitivity higher without it getting chattery. This thing obviously has some really good shielding on it that is allowing you to run it at higher sensitivity or in environments where there's a lot of electromagnetic interference without it getting chattery. Now, why are people coming after this machine? I've noticed this. They are really going after the Manticore. There are more naysayers about this machine than anything I've seen. I've been at this for 10 years. So since I've been around, what have I seen come out? I've seen the Garrett AT Max hit the streets. I've seen the White's MX Sport hit the streets. I've seen the Equinox 800. I've seen, uh, what else? The Simplex. The legend there, there's a few others in there but I've never seen a machine get attacked 
the way that the Mind Lab Manicore is getting. And, well, what's the reason for that? I mean, is it because it's a piece of junk? I haven't seen anybody that's bought one say that. I haven't seen anybody say it or dissatisfied with it, really. You've got your couple people out there that are saying, well, it false is on the deeper iron. And you know what? Maybe it is falsing on deeper iron. That's a simple bug. Probably an update's going to come out. It's going to correct that. Can't deny that the thing has great separation. You know, it handles EMI really great. And the target identification is good. It's got a great build quality. There's a lot of positives, but people are coming at this thing. They got the long knives out. Every time I turn around, I'm seeing something about how, you know, oh, it's it's doing this, or it won't do that, or my lab lied about how powerful it is. Now I'm seeing that. You know what? I just, I don't even know where to start with all this. If you don't like the machine, don't buy it. No one's telling anybody you have to buy this machine, right? And if you own one, go out and use it. Make your own opinion about it. That's how it is with pretty much any detector that you buy. You're going you're gonna to use it. You're going to find out whether it's good or not, right? But I am probably going to be the last person that is going to get all wound up over what... A couple of YouTube people are saying about a metal detector. I'm just not that guy. And because I'm not that guy, I'm also not going to come on here and parrot a bunch of, you know, opinions that are based on something I heard from another guy that heard it from another guy that heard it from another guy. I'm just going to give you the straight up what I know. So. I've got maybe two hours on the Manticore, so I'm not going to come on here and say, oh yeah, machine, nothing will touch it. It's working good for me so far. So, I don't know. Try not to get too riled up about what you see and hear. If you're the owner of a Manticore, get out there and use the thing. If you're not, hey, wait. Wait and see what the results are of people. I'm going to be talking about the results that I get from mine. Um, for all you people that could care less, I'm not going to make this channel all about only the Manticore. I'm, I'm working on some other stuff that I'm going to do that's going to kind of round out the, uh, the type of content that I'm doing. So, if you like what I'm talking about, if you, want, if you like the straight shooting kind of way I put things, drop a subscribe on my channel. Don't forget the notifications bell. And we'll see you next time on Freedom Diggers Metal Detecting, where you dig for your die. Thanks again.